Hi there. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at how humans interact with our coastlines. If you haven't already, guys, can you please subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and remember to check out our other videos on our website or our YouTube channel. So, humans interact with coasts in a variety of different ways. We interact with coastlines because we look to the sea for food, we look to the sea as a source of energy, we use the sea for transportation, and we use the sea for leisure activities. Humans interact with the coastline by looking to the coastlines to provide, to provide scenic destinations for holidaymakers. So a lot of caravan parks and holiday homes are built along the coastline. With all of these interactions with the coastline, there are some negatives, however, such as pollution. Um, we litter the, the, our coastline by dropping litter on the ground. We sometimes cause oil spillages, which can threaten our coastal environment and the marine life. There's a lot more noise pollution, and it can lead to a lot more traffic congestion around coastal areas. So, as you can see, I've listed some of the advantages of, of, uh, of, of how we interact with the coastlines. So we use it for food, source of energy, transport, leisure activities, and holiday destinations. Some of the negative ways that um, happens because of the way humans interact with coastlines are the following. And as you can see, some of the negatives such as pollution, noise, air, and visual pollution, traffic congestion, and oil spillages in the sea. So because we use our coastlines and the sea for so much uh, things, such as food, source of energy, transport, leisure activities, and, holiday, and use them as holiday destinations, seas and coastlines are really, really important to humans. So humans interact with the coastline by trying to protect the coastline. For example, if there's a lot of erosion or longshore drift taking place. And some of the ways that they um, protect the coastline are by building seawalls. So building seawalls. The second one, by building groins. The third one, by having boulders or riprap. And the last one, the fourth one, is by having gabions. Gabions are similar to boulders, except they're loads and loads of stones inside a mesh kind of wire. And these wire cages and are placed in front, so, the, so what happens is the, when the wave creates against it, it loses its energy and power. So with each of these coastal protection methods, we need to understand how they actually work. So seawalls, basically how they work is, they break the power of the wave, um, as it is, it's just a big, it's just a wall at the end of the beach, and the wave hits the wall, breaks the power, and this will stop uh, any further erosion of the coastline. So, it's a wall, which breaks the, the wave, and sometimes they're curved at the top, so the power of the wave is deflected back on itself. An example, Um, would be Bray in County Wicklow. The second one, grinds. Grinds are concrete or wooden barriers built at right angles to the sea and they slow down the process of longshore drift. Um, and they do this in Rosslair Strand in County Wexford. Stop longshore drifts. Example would be Ross Lair County Wexford. Okay, the second one is boulders, and these boulders are just huge. Um, rocks that are placed at the uh, along the coastline. As the water, the wave comes in, it'll crash against the boulder, 
and these huge rocks will stop uh, the power and the force from eroding further in. An example of these can be seen around Dublin. And the last one are gabions. These are rectangular wire cages containing smaller stones and are placed at the foot of cliffs to prevent undercutting. An example of these can be found in uh, Tremor Beach in County Waterford. So we'll say a wire cage to stop undercutting at cliffs. And an example be Tremor Beach in County Waterford. Okay, so that's it for today's tutorial. Um, all you have to know for your GNC examination is one of these features in detail and you need to understand uh, some of the positives and negatives that are associated with, with humans interacting with coastlines. If you enjoyed my video, please leave me some feedback and please guys remember to check out my other videos on my website www.examrevision.ie Thanks.